in this video i will consider one numeric on calculating y parameters for the given circuit find y parameters for the network shown below this is the given circuit we supposed to find the y parameters for this circuit so let v1 is the input voltage and v2 is output voltage let i1 is the current at input port and let i2 is the current at output port here we can observe that the voltage at this node is same that is v1 and voltage at this node is v2 so we know that the y parameter equations are represented as that is y parameter equations are given by we know that i1 is equal to y11 v1 plus y12 v2 and i2 is equal to y21 v1 plus y22 v2 let me call this as equation 1 this as equation 2 so now i will explain that how to find y parameters in very simple method so we will solve this using node analysis so here we have a register of value 1 ohm let current through this branch is say x let current through this branch is y now let me apply KCL to node V1 that is apply Kirchhoff's current law to node V1. We know that incoming current is equal to outgoing current. Let current through this branch is Z. So here we have I1 is equal to X plus Z or I can write I1 is equal to X is nothing but V1 divided by 1 that is V1 by 1 plus z is nothing but v1 minus v2 divided by 2 that is v1 minus v2 divided by 2 or i can simplify this as i1 is equal to v1 plus we have 1 by 2 v1 minus 1 by 2 v2 or i can write it as i1 is equal to v1 plus half v1 is 1.5 v1 minus 0 0.5 v2 let me call this as equation 3 now similarly apply kcl to node v2 that is apply kcl to node v2 so we have i2 and z are incoming current y is outgoing current that is z plus i2 is equal to y or i can write i2 is equal to y minus z or i can write i2 is equal to so here y is nothing but v2 divided by 3 that is v2 divided by 3 minus we have z z is nothing but v1 minus v2 divided by 2 so it is v1 minus v2 divided by 2 or i can write i2 is equal to v2 by 3 minus v1 by 2 plus v2 by 2 or i2 is equal to minus 0 0.5 v1 so here it is 1 by 3 plus 1 by 2 it gives plus 0 0.8333 v2 let me call it as equation 4 so now here we can see that in equation 3 if we compare equation 3 with equation 1 that is compare equation 3 with equation 1 we can see that y11 is nothing but 1.5 that is y11 is equal to 1.5 more similarly 
y12 is nothing but minus 0 0.5 y12 is equal to minus 0 0.5 mo now similarly let me compare i2 here we can see coefficient of v1 is minus 0 0.5 here coefficient of v1 is y21 therefore we have y21 is equal to minus 0 0.5 mo and we have y22 is equal to 0 0.8333 which is y22 0 0.8333 mo so therefore now i can write the y parameter values as y is equal to y11 y12 y21 y22 is equal to we have so y11 is 1.5 1.5 minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 0 0.8 333 three, three. so all values are in more thank you for watching